That's our first uh, retreat uh, and uh, in the last weeks our cluster members grew from, I don't know, 30 to, to 50, 60 people and we are so happy to bring them all together and I think it's also very needed to bring them together and this is our first forum to really discuss ideas and, and involve people into the different project groups um, in order to really start working collectively. So I think what's extraordinary about the center is that you have a really broad community of other researchers that work on a similar topic, but from very different disciplines. So you have a very vibrant community. I'm obviously very much in love with the cluster collective behavior. Otherwise, I wouldn't have joined in the first place. And I think this kind of retreat bring people together and, and remind them that we, are, that we are actually there to do something bigger than what you can achieve on your own, I think that's, that's extremely crucial. The things I enjoyed most about the retreat were one, just really learning what the main projects were that were proposed, what their main questions were, what their challenges were, and understanding you know, the vision that these people had behind this excellence initiative. Um, this morning talking to um, Urs Fischbacher and um, his, his group has been very helpful because in the end we figured out they are quite, quite actually a lot of parallels what they're doing in, uh, on humans in, in conformity and anti-conformity. Yeah, so I think one of the interesting overlaps seeing this morning uh, was spending time with the group that's working on collective eating basically in humans. And so that was the group in psychology. Meg Crowfoot was also there, and then I was there. And it was really interesting seeing how everyone was kind of lighting up at different things that felt either specific to, you know, one weird animal or one weird environment or something. One of the things that I found actually most useful about the retreat is that it's allowing the other members of my group, so the PhD students and postdocs, to meet others involved in the cluster um, and to really start interacting, like I think even first on a social level and then hopefully eventually also on a scientific level. I think you really need to have the social base for having some productive scientific exchange as well. The best thing that's come out of this for me is the interaction with lots of new faces who I don't get to see regularly and uh, the new ideas that have been sort of thrown around kind of quite informally just when people have been looking at posters and chatting to each other and over lunch, I think that's where the cluster's really going to take off is that sort of informal interaction between disciplines. So the scientific advanced <laughs> collective behavior. I hear it's a cluster. It's, a, it's an initiative that has been developed over the years. Hmm. 
Uh, That's supported by an excellence initiative. Um, through, um, so through a collective of people for the purpose of improving science in general in the University of Constance. Uh, a way to connect people working on the subject of uh, collective behavior in different disciplines to let them work together in the best possible fashion.